China has allegedly hacked into the Ministry of Defence of the United Kingdom, according to reports. Greetings, everyone. Today, we will be delving into the subject of a significant data breach that occurred within the UK's Ministry of Defence, wherein China successfully hacked into their systems. The breach specifically targeted service personnel, resulting in the exposure of their names and bank details. It is important to note that the cyber attack solely impacted the payroll system, affecting both current service personnel and a portion of veterans. However, rest assured that all salaries for this month will be distributed as usual. In response to this incident, the Defence Secretary will be unveiling a comprehensive plan to safeguard those individuals who have been affected. It is worth mentioning that investigations have thus far indicated that no data was actually extracted during the breach. Nevertheless, this occurrence does raise legitimate concerns regarding the sharing of sensitive intelligence with the UK. With that being said, let us now proceed with our discussion without any further delay. Today, Members of Parliament will receive a briefing regarding a significant data breach that has affected the Ministry of Defence, specifically targeting military personnel. While the government has chosen not to disclose the country in question, it is widely believed to be China. The Chinese government is facing allegations of multiple hacking attempts targeting Ministry of Defence employees, including personnel. The target of the cyber attack was a payroll system that contained the personal information of both active service personnel and a portion of veterans. The information that has been compromised primarily includes names and banking details. This month, all employees will receive their salaries in a timely manner. According to Tobias Elwood, a former soldier and Conservative MP, China may be targeting financially vulnerable individuals with the intention of coercing them in exchange for monetary gain. Today, Defence Secretary Grant Shapps is scheduled to address the House of Commons, where he will present a comprehensive plan that encompasses multiple points. The plan, as reported by the BBC, will include measures to safeguard the well-being of service men and women impacted by the situation. The Ministry of Defence, MOD, aims to alleviate any apprehensions regarding the safety of serving personnel. Adequate guidance and assistance will be readily available to them. Following the detection of a recent breach, the Ministry of Defence, MOD, has swiftly initiated a comprehensive investigation into the contractor system. In order to assess the extent of the hack, the MOD has diligently dedicated the past 72 hours to analysing the situation. It is important to note that the contractor system operates independently from the main MOD computer systems which have not been compromised. As of now, investigations have revealed no evidence of data theft. The UK's potential involvement in such activities could potentially deter other countries with complicated relationships with China from being willing to share sensitive intelligence. In less than two months, the Chinese government has attributed responsibility to their state-affiliated actors for two separate cyber attack campaigns in the UK, marking a swift succession of events. According to the integrated review of the UK's national security and international policy completed in 2021, Mel Stride, a government minister, stated on Tuesday morning that China poses an epoch-defining challenge and emphasised that the UK is fully aware and prepared for this challenge. While he refrained from explicitly confirming China as the culprit behind the MOD hack, he emphasised the importance for the UK to strike a delicate balance in its relationship with Beijing. In terms of maintaining a balance, I am referring to safeguarding our security. However, it is crucial to acknowledge the significant role that China plays in the global economy. Moreover, when it comes to addressing major global issues such as climate change, it is imperative to have China actively involved in finding solutions. During his speech in the Commons in March, Deputy Prime Minister Oliver Dowden disclosed that there were two prior incidents, one being an assault on the Electoral Commission in 2021, the organisation responsible for supervising elections and political finance, and the other involving targeted attacks on MPs who held sceptical views towards China. According to John Healy, the Shadow Defence Secretary for Labour, there are numerous pressing inquiries for the Defence Secretary regarding this matter, particularly from military personnel whose information was compromised. In no uncertain terms, he made it clear that any act of hostility would not be tolerated under any circumstances. 
Tomorrow, a comprehensive statement in the House of Commons will be anticipated by Parliament. Sir Ian Duncan Smith, a Conservative Member of Parliament and former soldier who has faced sanctions from China, emphasised the need for the UK government to acknowledge the systemic threat posed by China and make appropriate changes to the integrated review to address this concern. There is no room for pretense anymore. This actor is undeniably malign, providing both financial and military support to Russia. While collaborating with Iran and North Korea to form a new alliance of totalitarian states. According to Mr Elwood, we are experiencing firsthand the rapid evolution of warfare as technology continues to advance, highlighting the need to adapt and learn. The significance of safeguarding the digital realm has become equally crucial as protecting the physical domain, underscoring the necessity for increased investment in defence and security measures. The act of focusing on the Ministry of Defence's payroll and bank information suggests a potential intention to exploit those who are financially vulnerable, with the hope that they can be manipulated in exchange for monetary gain. If such a cyber attack is occurring within the borders of the United Kingdom, it is reasonable to assume that other NATO nations will also become targets. China's president, Xi Jinping, is currently embarking on a tour of Europe. However, it is worth noting that the United Kingdom is not included in his itinerary. After spending Monday in the vibrant city of Paris, he is set to embark on a journey to the Pyrenees alongside French President Emmanuel Macron on Tuesday. Following that, he has scheduled visits to Serbia on Wednesday and Hungary on Thursday, both of which have established friendly relationships with Beijing. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.